today we are seeing a cement tank which uh, just been produced uh, by our new workshop behind me in this one we can see our cement tank brand is uh, called war war elephant because it's ha having a hose to suck the cement or the dry powder let's go to the new workshop and have a look this is our new cement tank production workhouse we've been building in the last uh, three months and that's that's our war elephant uh, office production office over there that's uh, the bending machine for the tank shield and that's the tank in the build that's uh, part of it here just for stocking and over there we have uh, more tank in build and our welders is working on it and those are the finished tank over there and we have a lot of it to do for this uh, workshop but now it uh, has a capability to do the production I haven't met the general manager of this workshop today and he asked me to make more sales so I'm making this video for everybody if you are interested in this uh, cement tank we can give you a better price for the beginning okay let's have a look for the details same as all the other trailers, we have the connections, the electricity connections, the ABS, and the airline connections here. And we also have the production numbers over there. Uh, this is a hose, a steel, a steel hose for the air pressure to go into the tank. We can see it later. At the bottom, we have the 90 millimeter diameter chin pin bolted type and we have the landing gear which is double side operation which means you if you have a if you have a different uh, level ground like uh, one is higher and one is lower so you can have this one is longer and this one shorter so you can have the level for your trailer all right here we can see the pipeline usually we have a, a diesel engine and air compressor in the front but most of the cement uh, station they have the air power outlet in their station so they just uh, leave a uh, outlet here for the tank when the tank goes to the cement station so they can put the hose to the pipe the pressure can goes in from here uh, this is uh, a flange and this is a safety wipe two safety wipe so goes to here and then to the front in the front we have a gap here to have a pressure to give the tank 0 0.2 bar pressure inside it's pretty heavy actually once I was in the top I was trying to open the manhole that's very dangerous when the tank is having the pressure so please do not do that here is another wipe and the pipeline goes to the rear we have a rear chamber at the, this position it also gives a pressure from the front and uh, the rear to the middle so the dry powder inside the tank would uh, suffer those pressures and uh, liquefy when it's liquefy it you can dump it by from there or from here that's uh, how this trailer wor work we also have the gadgets and uh, Disc wives and horses looks like uh, the nose of the elephant. That's how we name our wool elephant uh, brand. This is a three axle. It's uh, pretty pretty heavy loading because uh, the volume of this tank is about uh, 35 cubic meter, which can load 50 ton. It's quite heavy. Those. Uh, uh, special brand it's our brand is called the wool elephant the axle is also made from our axle factory and we are using linlong tire for this trailer and the pattern of the tire is especially for the following axle at the other videos we were talking the trailer axle is only following it's not a steering it's not a driving so it's a following pattern 
faster falling pattern. In the rear, we have the reflector broad and the reflector triangle and the reflector, uh, sorry, the braking light and the reverse light. On the top, we have catwalking, which you'll go to the top, have a look later. In the other side, you can see it's the same as other three axle trailers. We have the four, axle, four tires in each axle. So the total three axle would have 12 tires. Here we have a spare tire carrier. You can put your spare tire here. In the front, we have a small toolbox. You can put your thing in the toolbox. And the, the toolbox uh, has been made uh, quite fancy. All right, let's close it. You can see the case over here. Seal to protect uh, the lock from the seawater or dirty water. Most of the time, seawater from this uh, height is pretty high. And this is the light, the indicator light for the waist of the trailer we have here, and we have light over there. Okay, let's uh, go to the top and have a look at what uh, looks like on the top. The leather is quite strong, so when you are going to the top, you can really feel the shaking. On the top, we have a two manhole here and here, and also we have a, a two hoisting bar over there. And the catwalking we are using is uh, aluminum. You can also work on the tank body. You can feel the pressure of the tank body. You can open the manhole when the tank is not having any cargo inside and uh, it's quite dangerous. If you are not driver and if you do not have to, please do not open the manhole because the manhole is using to checking and repairing. So for most of us, we do not need to use it. Let's have a look here. This is the... This is the lock device for the manhole. If you open it and you pull it, if you cannot, you need to release, release the, move it and then release, release the pressure by moving this. Still not open. One more. Okay. This is this is how it looks uh, like uh, of the manhole. This is the locking device. When you are moving the bar on the top, it's the locking cells. At the in, inside, please do not go inside immediately when you when you open it because you might. Uh, having the oxygen leaking problem if you go inside so quickly. So you can see the seal chamber in the front is over there. That's the seal chamber. With all those pipes to have pressure and do the vibration, then the cement inside would uh, liquefy. Once the cement being liquefied, it can be sucked by this one, this device, to the bottom and then do the dumping. All right, so the liquefy is, is uh, when the liquefy is doing so, the cement is going to be like a water, can be sucked by those pipes. This pipe is connecting the hose we are seeing from the outside. And then you can have the cement dumping from the, sorry, discharging from the rear hose. Okay, let's close the manhole here. All right, you need to move the bar again. All right, that's, uh, I think that's uh, everything on the top. Let's go to the bottom. Now we are at the bottom of the trailer uh, from the top, not the bottom bottom. Let's have a look at the real bottom of the trailer. Okay, here is the bottom of the cement tank. 
you can see it's quite similar as other pillars but we haven't finished the in installation yet we shall do it later the leaf spring is also special so one four length leaf spring and with uh, three pieces okay I think that uh, would be all for today's video I think this video would give you all the information about our cement tank. If you have any requirement, please connect us or leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye.